what I'd like to just uh, discuss today, and I feel is very important, is the Jesus of the Watchtower Society and the Jesus of the Bible are two very different things. And some people think, well, that's what is the difference, and it's not that important. St. Paul in the Bible, he, in the book of Galatians and in the book of Corinthians, said that there would be people that would come and preach a different gospel. And another one in Corinthians said that, he, that uh, Paul said, someone would preach a different Jesus Christ. If a Jehovah Witness calls to your house and you ask them, do you believe in Jesus Christ? They say, yes, we believe in Jesus Christ. We believe he's the son of God and we believe in the ransom sacrifice for our sins. So you may think that, well, that's the Jesus of the Bible. But in reality, when you get into the Watchtower, that is not what the Watchtower Society teaches. The Watchtower Society teaches that Jesus Christ is not God, that in fact it is actually Michael the Archangel. And what the Jehovah Witnesses will do, they will show you different scriptures they will quote a scripture in Daniel which talks about Michael. They will quote a scripture in Thessalonians where it said that Jesus would come with an archangel vice and they will quote another scripture in Revelation. And it's what is called scripture alignment. These scriptures have nothing to do to say that Jesus is Michael, the archangel. The scripture in Daniel has been misquoted. They say that Jesus is Michael, the archangel, and he's unique according to the reasoning book produced by the Watchtower. Michael the Archangel is not unique. He is one of many of the chief princes. The scripture in Thessalonians says that Christ would come with an Archangel's vice, but it never actually called him the Archangel. And if you're talking to Jehovah's Witnesses, I believe if you can just ask them one question with regard to that statement, can you show me one scripture in the Bible that calls Jesus Michael? And what's going to happen is they're going to say, well, we'll look at this scripture, that scripture, and the other. Just ask them for one scripture, and in reality, they can't do it. Now, the Jesus of the Bible is not Michael the Archangel. Jesus said himself in John 8, 58, Before Abraham was, I am. Now, the Jehovah Witnesses will not recognize that because they have changes in their Bible to try and uh, disillusion people. The Jehovah Witnesses have a kingdom interlinear translation of the Bible which is, gives the literal Greek and when you look in that particular trans in the Greek it actually says that Jesus is the I Am. The scripture says in Hebrews to which one of the angels did you say sit at my right hand? Jesus cannot be an angel. He is the eternal Son of God and not an angel. The scripture doesn't support that. A good scripture to show Jehovah's Witnesses with regard to the identity of Christ, and this particular scripture has not been changed in their Bible. Many scriptures have, that's another day's work. But First Timothy chapter 1 and verse 16 and verse 17 talks about Paul, and Paul said that I have been sanctified, I have been washed clean by the blood of Jesus. He did not say he was washed clean by the blood of an angel. By the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. It's very important to have the Jesus of the Bible. But in verse 17 of that particular verse as well, it calls Jesus the eternal God in capital letters. That's what the Bible says about Jesus Christ. He is the I am. He is the eternal God and he is the father of everlasting life. Jesus said in the Bible, I am the way, the truth and the light and no one comes to the father except through me because he is the son of God, not because he is an angel. The book of Hebrews said with regard to Jesus that he had a name that was better than the angels. Now the Watchtower Society will tell you, well, that's just his name was better. But when you go into the original Greek, when it says that Jesus had a name better than the angels, it meant higher in nature. He is not the same nature as the angels. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the one who takes away the sins. John 20, 
and 28, when Thomas spoke to Jesus, he said, My Lord and my God, in capital letters. Now, if you're discussing that with a Jehovah's Witness, they will say, well, he didn't actually mean the God. But in the original Greek, in the, in the Kingdom Interlinear Translation of the Jehovah's Witness Bible, it literally says, the Lord of me and the God of me. The Bible tells us that there is not another name given to men by which we can get saved, and that is the name Jesus. The Jesus of the Bible is very different than the Jesus of the Watchtower. There's another point that the witnesses won't tell you straight away at the door when you ask them. If you ask a Jehovah's Witness, is Jesus Christ your personal mediator? Some will say yes and some will say no. But the reality is the Watchtower teaches that Jesus is not the mediator of everyone. He's only a mediator of the 144,000, which is a very dangerous teaching because if Christ is not your mediator, who is going to intercede for you? So the Jesus of the Watchtower is not the Jesus of the Bible. He is not an angel. He is the eternal Son of God. That's what it says in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 16 and 17, and this is in their own uh, translation. The scripture in Timothy said that Jesus, that there was only one God and one mediator for all men. It didn't just limit it to 144,000. So Jesus is what the Bible says he is. That he is the eternal son of God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is not an angel. And there's only one way to heaven and that is through Jesus Christ. So if Jesus is not your mediator, and if we have the wrong Jesus Christ, as Paul mentioned, if you have the right Jesus Christ, you are right for all eternity. But if you have the wrong Jesus Christ, you will be wrong for all eternity. Kingdom Interlinear of the Greek Scriptures, as produced by the Watchtower Society. Okay, great. And that is in John eight fifty eight. There's verse fifteen and there's the footnote.